Stop trying to fix what the Lord has already called good. Hello beautiful, wonderful, amazing people. It's Deja and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys a dream that I had the other night. In this dream, my significant other and I finally had a daughter. And our daughter was already a child. She was five years old. And um, I just remember sitting on the floor with my daughter and I don't have any kids, by the way, no kids, um, but I'm sitting on the floor with my daughter and I just remember seeing her hair was like up in like a ponytail and the ponytail, you know, it wasn't really like slicked down or anything. Um, it was a little bit messy, like maybe she went to sleep and then when she woke up, that's how her hair looked. Um, and I just remember like looking at her and not really identifying with her as my child. But in the dream, I had the understanding that that was my child. And I had the understanding that she was five years old without being told. Um, but I just remember in the dream not feeling affection towards her instead what I felt in the dream is that I wanted to fix her hair and I wanted to do like okay maybe like I can do some bantu knots or something on her hair give her some curls and moisturize her hair and I can paint her nails and I can paint her toes and different things like that like as if she was my dress-up doll or something what bothered me about this dream even after waking up was in past dreams that I've had about my children I felt such a love towards them. I felt such a, this is, this is mine. You know, this is my, my baby. You know, this is the blessing that God has given me, my child. And I just felt so much love and I would wake up and just have so much hope for having kids one day. And this dream, it was like the complete opposite. It wasn't scary or anything, but I didn't feel that love for my child. Instead, I wanted to fix everything that I felt was wrong with her. I was really unsettled about this and I didn't understand it that well. And, and I prayed about it and I believe that the, the Lord spoke to me and, and he did, but I didn't know exactly what he was trying to say until I got confirmation um, from another prophetic video that I watched. Um, and I believe it had to do with relationships. I believe that this word is for people who are already in relationships or and and or um, people who have already received something good or something that they were promised from God. And what I wanted to say and what resonated with me today was stop trying to fix what the Lord has already made good, what the Lord has already called good. What we see as good and what the Lord sees as good typically tend to be two totally different things. <laughs> um, and that's why we need to be able to put on the mind of Christ and to see things how Christ sees them, to see things how God sees them, and to love and appreciate things the way that God loves and appreciates and sees them. God only makes what is good. Only The only thing that can come from God is good because God is good. You know what I mean? So even if that thing or that person doesn't necessarily always feel good or look good in your life, if God has ordained it, it is good. Sometimes we find ourselves setting really high expectations for something or for someone. And when we receive that and it doesn't look like what we expected it to look, then it can't be it and we find ourselves trying to fix it because we want that thing right because it, it's in the realm or the scope or the uh the genre of what we want it but it's not quite there yet and i speak this mainly for relationships when we find ourselves trying to fix people instead of just loving them for who they are and who God made them to be and loving them with the mind of Christ and with the heart of God which is the most important thing and I say this from a place of experience um it's really important to love people and to pray for people in a place of 
God's heart. Ask God, what is your heart on this person? How do you see this person? How do you, Lord God, want me to see this person? Help me to love them from that. Help me to receive them from that. Yeah. That's not always easy, right? Because we're trained to have such high standards or we're settling. You know what I mean? And of course, we should have high expectations for God because God can do above and beyond all we can ever ask or imagine. But it's really important to also keep um, humility in your heart because what God has already ordained and said is good. It is good. If this word has resonated with you this evening, I ask that you please go ahead and like this message and leave a fire in the a fire emoji in the comments for the Holy Spirit because this word was definitely led by the Holy Spirit. It was not planned by me and I just feel God um, moving in that and there was a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, wisdom that I've prayed for and understanding that I've prayed for in that. So go ahead and give this video a like if it resonated with you. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section down below. Please make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, go ahead and share this video with somebody who can benefit from it, okay? I love you all so very much. I hope that you guys all have a very blessed weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed day.